What's up everybody, Drag back at it again with another Ready or Not discussion video. But before we really get into today's topic, let's really quick talk about the previous video. You guys really seem to like it, I honestly was not expecting it to blow up like that. In that video we discussed if reloading was too fast, and we were just doing this based off of the clip that they have on their YouTube channel, which might be outdated by this time, I'm not entirely sure. I said that I thought that it was fine, but I just wanted to see what you guys thought. And to my surprise, a lot of people seem to agree with me that it was either fine or not fast enough. This is actually shocking to me because I didn't think that anybody would agree with me. I estimated that about 80% of people either said that it was fine or not fast enough, 18% of people said that it was too fast, and 2% of people that said that it's too early to tell. According to the 80%, I'm gonna put it in broad terms here, the chat said that there's a lot of factors that I had to consider. 1. Comparing a SWAT officer that trains every day to the point that reloading becomes second nature to a scab that just picked up a weapon. It's just not a good comparison. Two, a couple of veterans actually came into the comment section and said that firefights are different from war zones and urban areas because in war zones, you're fighting from mid to long distances, whereas in urban areas, it's usually up close and personal, which requires you to be faster when you're reloading. Three, it also depends on the gear that you're wearing, which I neglected to uh, mention in this video, but the developer actually said they're reloading from open top pouches and all of this is matched to an actual person doing it so the reloading is one to one because red or not is using motion capture with one in real life i neglected to mention that because the video was kind of slapped together like i like Mm, I, I, just like, like I was saying, I wasn't expecting it to blow up like that. To the 18% of people, for the most part, it seemed like they talked about game balance, saying that it would be too OP for us to be reloading like that. At least, that's the general consensus that I got from that. I, I don't know, I can't say that I agree with that, because reloading doesn't give you an advantage, it's more of a disadvantage than anything else. I can't tell you how many times I've died because I was in the middle of a reloading animation in all these tactical games that don't have fast reloads. If anything, they need to add like a quick reload, you know, like double tap R, come on now. Like, I don't care if there's a mess up, just just give it to me, goddammit. To the 2% that said that it was too early to tell, that's a fair point. Like, I don't even, I don't have any issue with that, it's a fair point. All right, so let's talk about the topic that we have today. And that topic is compasses. Does ready or not need a compass? If we're talking about realism, then having that on the screen is unrealistic. But if we're talking about it from a gameplay perspective, then I could see it as being useful for callouts. I think a good example of this is used in Squad and Hell Let Loose. Because the maps are just too big to really remember every aspect of it. I mean, like, the only thing that I really remember about the maps is the points that they want us to defend, but I don't remember every building that's in that particular area because the points keep switching around. So every time that I see an enemy, I'm just basically like, Southwest 340, nail him! I know what these kind of games could actually feel like when they don't have a compass, like Arma 3 and Postscriptum. I mean, they do have a compass, don't get me wrong, but it's the pullout compass. I hate the pullout compass. I have to reach across the keyboard to pull it out. I mean, I could remap it, but I like to play a game with the controls that it has because it adds a different feeling to each game that I play. So I don't remap things. Like it looks cool on paper, but in practice, it just takes too long. Especially when there's enemies right in front of me, I just don't have the time to pull out the compass and communicate with my team to tell them where the enemy position is. I'd rather just pull out the map and just look at the way that my character's facing to call it out, but that just takes even more time. So all in all, I think that the compass on the screen is a good idea for tactical games that have big maps. But for games like Ready or Not, I think it's debatable. Because Ready or Not is supposed to be a close quarters game, meaning that the map aren't going to be that big so the more that we play it the less we will need the compass because at that point we'll be memorizing the map and all the layouts but of course we're not going to know where every single suspect is going to be because it's going to be randomized and yeah in my opinion I honestly don't think that we need it simply because our team is usually going to stick together when we're pushing through areas, but that's just me. I also think not having a compass encourages players to memorize the area. A good example of this is uh, Ground Branch. This doesn't have a compass, but the map isn't that big. So all I have to say is uh, straight ahead, left side, left side, left side of the bridge, left side of the bridge by the trucks. And that's all I'd have to say, but... I'm only talking about the co-op. What about multiplayer? Are people going to need the compass for multiplayer? That's another question in itself. Unfortunately, I did not play a whole lot of uh, Swap 4's multiplayer, so I can't say as to how Ready or Not's multiplayer is going to be, nor have I gotten the gist of any maps. I'd imagine that a majority of the maps are going to be the same from the co-op in uh, the multiplayer, but the only difference is maybe like a slight changes, slight few changes here and there. So I have to wonder how effective using a compass in multiplayer is going to be. 
The last thing that I want to say here, compasses are optional. You have the power to turn them on or off if you would like. It was confirmed by one of the devs in the Discord just recently. Well, those are just my thoughts. What are yours? Originally, I was going to do a speculation video, but a lot of people seem to say that something's going to come out on the 15th. Now, I haven't seen any devs actually say that, but the official word is a month or two, but no more than three. And so far that I've seen, they have not changed that. But basically what this means is that they said this in July. So from August, September, in October. So hopefully we'll see something this month or, or you know, some kind of update. So I, I'm going to be waiting out for this. And when something happens, I will stream. I will stream and we will watch this together because I just I just want to catch my reaction while I'm looking at all the freaking comments and stuff like going wild in the chat. And then we'll, I'll try to like analyze it and then I'll make a, a, a video afterwards. It's going to be great if it happens. That is be sure to have your bell notification on because apparently streams only work when you have that on. So yeah. Well, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.